In my last tutorial, I showed you how to animate text using simple layer markers. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you give it a try first before you watch this video. In this video, I will quickly introduce you to my new free tool called Smart Threshold. This tool is also a part of our Smart Tools bundle, and you can learn more about it at ukramedia.com. For this example, I'm going to use the project file from the last tutorial. The first step is to bring an audio file into the composition. I'm going to use this audio file that has some drum hits. All right, so next I'm going to select the audio layer first and then the layer that will hold my markers. Right after that, I'm going to go to the Smart Threshold and in the Audio tab, I'm going to adjust the threshold. Here's how the threshold slider works. The left side of the slider is the base of the audio and the right side is the peak. This slider is where we set our threshold and I want it to be set to about 40%, which will position it right about here. So anytime my sound goes past my threshold, it will automatically label it with a marker. You can also tell After Effects what audio channel you want to use. For this example, I'm going to set it to both channels. Before I run this, I'm gonna to go to the naming tab and set the naming of my markers to the index number. And I'm also gonna to go to the color tab and set the color of my markers to yellow. All right, so let's run this by clicking on this button. And just like that, it creates markers in areas where the sound breaks my threshold, which is perfect for this project. <laughs> 